Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am so so excited about today's makeover This has been one that I have been waiting to come out on my channel I've been working on this video for about two months I'd say close to two months There's a lot of planning and process and steps and stuff So it was only actually a four-day install but this makeover you guys is probably one of my favorite makeovers to date and I really feel like it just I don't know, something about this makeover really just clicked for me. And I also gotta give a humongous thank you to today's video sponsor, which is Castlery. They killed it with the furniture, you guys. They sent me so many incredible furniture pieces from Marco Space. He and I are both extremely, extremely grateful for these pieces. They really made the entire space. They were the base for the entire living room, the entire dining room, everything that we did. And so I'm gonna touch on them in just a little bit. But I do wanna give you guys a little bit of a backstory because I really dived into the makeover right away and didn't even touch on a lot of like the preliminary things that you guys need to know before jumping into a makeover. Number one, this makeover is for my good friend Marco. He actually used to live on kind of more of the outskirts of Los Angeles. I'd say like 45 minutes away from me. And he actually got a new job and relocated to a new apartment more within the city, actually just about a mile from me, which is really exciting. So now we live really close to each other. But as he moved into this space, he really didn't have much because he was coming from previously just living in a room inside of a larger apartment um, with like some roommates. So he moved into a space, his own space, with a completely blank living room and a completely blank dining room. So that is what I want to help him with today. Two, what spaces are we going to be designing? This is actually kind of like a mini full apartment makeover. It's not a full apartment because we're not gonna be doing the bedroom or the kitchen in this space, but we are gonna be doing the living room and dining room. I actually stepped foot into the space on the first day of kind of like the install or the actual makeover transformation. And so before that, I was given a video by Marco that kind of just shared the space with me. It shared the dining room, it shared the living room. This was a video that he literally took on the day of viewing the apartment. And he also ended up drawing up a couple of floor plans, one for both the dining room and one for the living room, which was a great base and kind of starting point to make sure all of our furniture pieces were going to fit in this space. And last but not least, number three, what design style are you going for in this space? And that is really a great question because when I first got the text from Marco, I knew in immediately that I wanted to go ahead and work with him on this project. Marco himself actually has a really great eye for design, whether it comes to fashion. I've seen his past bedrooms, like in his old apartments and stuff, and he always has had a really great eye for design. Um, so I knew going into this project that it was going to be really, really a nice outcome because I knew a lot of the design choices I would want to make he probably would also be okay with or you know like as well so I knew our styles were gonna mesh really nicely but I'd probably say the style for this apartment is very transitional kind of Parisian Scandinavian vibes those are the overall vibes that I'm going for in here with a lot of warmth a lot of tonal texture and I think that's definitely what we were able to achieve as well which I'm very excited about but enough blabbering on we need to dive on into this I have no idea what is going to be coming up next in the video you guys I don't remember what was filmed right after this so if it jumps into something totally random please forgive me but let's go ahead and dive on into this full apartment transformation I also forgot to mention one of the most important parts. Marco is going to be kicked out of his apartment for a couple of days while I make it over, so the reveal at the end is gonna be a total surprise. He has no idea what I'm choosing for this space, so stay tuned to see his reaction. Hello, guys! It is time to do some shopping and planning. I thought I would bring you guys along with me because I'm on Castlery's site right now. They let me choose furniture for Marco's apartment, you guys. I'm so excited. And one of the first things we definitely do need, which I have, I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I've already looked at their website a little bit, so I have a general idea of kind of like you know what I'm going for but I thought I'd share with you guys some of their pieces because they have such great pieces like this literal like cane sofa and then this right here the Wayne sofa but the couch that I'm leaning towards the most is this pebble sofa here in the shadow gray color I love this couch mainly because the back of it as well if you see in this photo has interest to it this couch is gonna be freestanding in the room so I really need it to have like 360 interest and then in terms of armchairs and accent chairs right when I went to the page the first thing I saw was this amber boucle swivel chair and I just love this chair so much and I knew Marco would love this too I know that he's a big fan of boucle so I figured you know what why don't we get two of these and kind of style them in the space I think they could look really really great and I love how they swivel because they really give you like 360 access to the room as well because we're gonna be having the chairs facing the couch and then but if you want to you can also have the chairs facing the fireplace if you wanted to swivel them around um we need a coffee table now I you guys I love 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 this coffee table here the cupid coffee table I just don't think 
it might be just a little bit too much and I also found one this one right here the Perry coffee table I love how low this sits and the reason I like this is because I'm really trying to create a like conversation area I really like the idea of having like a lower down coffee table and then like having the chairs and the couch kind of facing each other so everything's kind of connected I kind of was thinking about doing like a bench in there so this one right here the Jackson dining bench it's actually a literal dining bench but I thought it could be really nice to utilize this underneath one of the windows for decor because I've seen a couple people utilize benches for adding decor and I love the look of that and then of course we are gonna need a dining table and some chairs so looking at all the tables we are gonna need a smaller sized one and the one that I personally think looks the nicest for the space is the Vincent dining table and the reason I love this one is the kind of curved leg on this piece and how it tapers to a more of a point towards the bottom and the chairs I'm gonna pair with it are the same exact chairs in the photo here I believe these are the Vincent dining chairs with the gray cushion so yeah you guys I think we are in a good boat I'm gonna go ahead and send this over to the brand see what can be sent see what can't be sent or if everything can be sent that would be great but these are the pieces I think I'm opting for we're just gonna we need to wait for them to of course come in um, and then we can start working on the space all right guys I'm outside of Marco's apartment I just unlocked it and this is my first like real look at it i guess in person i've only seen photos of it marco's actually staying at his boyfriend's house who lives around the corner literally around the corner so he's staying there for a couple of days while i make over this space so i got the keys and full access to the apartment just to give you guys a little backstory on that however he tells me it is amazing so let's step foot in and see what it looks like oh my gosh okay first of all on first impression the living room's a little bit smaller which hopefully i was not given wrong measurements because we had that happen with kelsey wait kelsey can you show me like what the place looks like with your bed in it now? Yeah, hold on. It looks kind of small though. Wait, I, I literally just rented it, Drew, and it's only 15. 15? Um, but this apartment actually is so cute. The floors are pretty reminiscent of my apartment, and honestly, the styling in here is like kind of the same as well. I'm literally obsessed with whatever these are, these little end caps on the beams. And the beams in the ceiling are also so cool too. I'm also really into these, um, curtains that are in here. I don't know if these were left or what happened with them, but there's already some curtains in here, which is nice. I think we might need to raise them because they're pretty close to the floor here. And this is the basic living room area, you guys. And then also there is this fireplace, which I saw photos of. There is a mount on top for a TV, but I don't know if Marco wants a TV. I'll have to ask. Definitely need to change up these sconces. Those are not okay. And then working our way over here is actually the dining room area. Okay, so in here, oh my gosh, look at the crown molding in here, you guys. I don't know if you can see that. I'll put like close-ups of everything. The crown molding looks so good. And there's a little door out to the back, which I saw in the photos. And then this is washer and dryer. Also saw these. Uh, but this apartment base is really, really great, actually. So excited. These are all of the new pieces from Castlery. They delivered absolutely everything to the apartment. They did such a great job. I already peeked at the color of the couch because I wanted to just make sure that it was the right color. Let's go ahead and start unboxing everything. I'm really excited to get everything out of their boxes so we can start seeing the actual pieces. It was so nice to see all of the pieces arrived in person and everything kind of together, but I thought I'd share with you guys the individual pieces I did get from Castle Reed. These ones are the Vincent chairs, which I love. I love the wood base with the gray kind of seat to them. I then got the Kit Boucle stool, which I thought would be a nice bit of additional seating for this space because we are, of course, going to be using those Amber Boucle chairs, which are coming up next. These are the swivel chairs. I absolutely love these. The Boucle is such high quality, and the chair itself is really, really nice. It's structured really nicely, and the swivel is great on it. I 
I also got the Jackson dining bench, which I plan on styling in the living room as kind of like a little decor shelf. I think the chunkiness of this piece will be really nice in the living room. And then to accent the sofa, I got the Zane side table. I love the tripod legs on this piece. I think it's just really interesting. And then the Perry coffee table also coordinates back to the Zane, but it has this rounded edges and it's lower down to the floor to complement our pebble sofa, which I love the pebble sofa. This is in the shadow gray color. And this sofa is extremely supportive and comfortable at the same time. And last but not least, we got the Vincent dining table, but which complement those chairs perfectly. I love the rounded edges and the overall slim profile of this piece. And I have to say that these pieces really did surpass my expectations, you guys. All of the pieces are created with the highest quality raw materials that are built for longevity and multi-purpose use. Castlery actually believes that there's value in taking time to curate your home with intention, and they want to help you create spaces that you can build intimate connections in, which I personally also agree with. That's really something I wanted to create for Marco, of course. And not to mention they offer free fabric swatches, flat rate shipping, 14-day return policy, and warranty coverage, which is amazing. So if you guys would like to check out Castlery, I'll link all the pieces I used in the description box below. I highly suggest them if you're on the market for any furniture pieces. Day two over at Marco's apartment. As you guys can see, all of the furniture has been assembled. It is all behind me, such a beautiful backdrop. But I wanna go ahead and start getting things into place in here because things are moving along. I ended up getting an area rug last night, which I'm hoping is going to work for this space. I wanna lay down the rug, get the couch, the accent chair, coffee table, and a lot of the furniture situated first, just to kind of see what we're working with and then kind of work on it from there. rug it's so cute i love the little abstract lines on it it's very white and minimal a perfect base for our couch and our two chairs so i'm going to quickly add those I went ahead and I put all the furniture in place and I'm gonna give you a little mini tour so far. So we have the rug on the ground, of course. Then we have the two kind of boucle chairs towards the end by the fireplace over here. Then we have the coffee table in the middle and I love how low down this coffee table sits. I think it adds like a really unique element and we can do some fun styling on top because it is pretty large. Then we have the couch back here. It's coming a little blue on camera. Not sure why, probably just the lighting. It's very much a black kind of charcoal sofa. And then our side table to the right of that. And then in the back here, I'm actually thinking about utilizing this bench just as an area underneath the window to kind of add additional books, maybe some decor. And I want to go ahead and raise up our curtains. Those have been bothering me the whole time. So let's go ahead and start on doing that. The curtains have been rehung. You can kind of see the difference in height here. Here is the new Lee Hung curtains, and these are the old ones, pretty close to the window. This is our new curtain here. I love, love, love these panels. They're really sheer, but they have like a beige tone to them, which I love. And I did a really thin black rod up here and actually transferred the finials from the old rod over. And I think it looks great. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of work on this window next. I'm hanging curtains, but you guys look at this view from up here. I just enjoy it. And also I wanted to show you this. This right here, the apartment used to be painted purple. I pulled down one of the old rods and as you can see, at one point it was purple when the rods were installed and they painted around it white. Curtains are hung. This is the largest wall in the living room. It's the one with the most blank space and essentially the front door is right in front of me here. So what I was thinking is to actually do two really large scale pieces of artwork and I went online to find traditional canvas sizes and it seems like a 36 by 60 would be a really nice size. However, I want to go ahead and kind of tape off two 36 by 60 canvases on this wall just to get a visual for what they would look like. I'm not promising that they're going to be straightly taped off at all they probably won't be they're gonna be fully crooked but at least it will give me like an idea you know so I'm gonna go ahead and take these off
Here are the two taped off canvases. They look kind of small, honestly, in frame, but they are very, very large. 60 inches this way, 36 inches that way, and I think I wanna do two of them on this wall. That's just what seems is gonna fit, of course, with these two grates down here. But what I also wanna go ahead and do is actually bring out a plant that Marco has in his bedroom. One of the plants he has is very large and it's gonna go in the living room, of course. We wanna put it here just to get an idea for what that's gonna look like in the corner. I'm trying to just basically place larger items now. Once we have all the larger items placed, go back in with styling, DIYs, artwork. And this, you guys, is said plant in Marco's bedroom. Look how pretty it is. I love this plant. I wanna bring it out in the corner. We should be able to pull it. I don't know how heavy this is, but we're gonna do our best. And look, you guys, he also has my little terrazzo artwork. I gave it to him when he moved in a while back. Look how cute this arched mirror is I found yesterday. I love it. I'm actually gonna mount it up on the wall because it's not tall enough to be like a leaning one. This whole vibe here, I am obsessed. I also like how when you're walking out of the bedroom, you can kind of see yourself in the mirror and it's just like, good morning, I am in my living room. Candle. Forgot the hammer. <laughs> All right guys, it is day three over at Marco's apartment in the morning and I got two humongous canvases last night. These are 36 by 60. I hope you can see the massive size of this canvas. And I am going to start by attempting to DIY these. Now, I am not an artist in any way, but I'm doing like very abstract minimal art. So I kind of thought that it would be something simple to do. And we are just gonna freehand this completely. I have absolutely no references, but I do have a color palette that I'm going for, which is more on the neutral side. So let's dive into this. DIY. Something you probably don't see very much of on the channel is painting, and that is because, you guys, I am not a very good artist at all. I'm not a painter, I'm not a drawer or a sketcher. Anything that's artistic in that element, like fine art, is something I just cannot grasp onto, so this abstract piece was perfect for me. I just did large blocks of colors in neutral shades and also went in with some contrast with black, and overall just had fun with the project. So here you could see the difference. We have a blank canvas here and the canvas that I just finished painting. Now, this is just very, very abstract. Something very simple. I did not put a lot of thought into this, but that's what I think makes these paintings so unique. I also went in and added some pencil lines to this. I don't know if you guys can see those, but it's just like some light faint pencil strokes, which I think add a little bit of texture. I also added some additional paintbrush strokes as well onto the paint itself. So we're gonna go ahead and let this dry here. Now for the opposite one, I think I'm going to split this canvas down the center and do two of the lighter shades gonna quickly work on this one so we can get those to dry and move on to the next process. Oh no, you guys, we're about to get eaten by this squirrel. Oh no. Hello? Oh my, what if it jumped at us? <laughs> You guys, we left the door open. What do we do? <laughs> it's literally in the pot and the door is open. Did you close the door? Oh my god. I'm gonna have to run. Our artwork is fully dry. Let it dry for about an hour. And while I let it dry, I went to Lowe's and picked up a couple pieces of wood because I wanna go ahead and frame out these canvases. I've actually done this one time on the channel in the past, but I'm gonna be doing a very kind of like faux version of it where I'm not actually creating a frame and then placing the canvas in where it's interchangeable. I'm just gonna go ahead and staple the wood or nail gun the wood on the outside of this canvas because the canvas is constructed from solid wood already. So essentially the frame will be attached to the canvas always is not interchangeable, but I don't expect these artworks to be changed very often. Often, you know, so I'm gonna start by creating the frame for the outside of each of these canvases. These are one by twos, and as you can see, when we flip it sideways, it fits perfectly on the side of our canvas here. So all I'm gonna do is take a pencil here and just mark the edge right at that edge there for a mark. We're gonna know that we're gonna need a 90 degree angle here-ish, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side, and then we're gonna cut our 90 degree angles.
So the frame has now been cut. I haven't yet constructed it, but as you can see, I did 90 degree cuts on all of the corners there. And I just kind of followed the exact dimensions of the canvas itself on these pieces of wood, which I'm not gonna go ahead and stain, but I'm gonna go ahead and quickly cut the other one as well, just so I could stain everything at once, then apply everything at once. And I'll share with you guys the process of applying it and staining and everything. All of the pieces are cut, as you can see, and I laid them on top of some cardboard. Now we had two different stain options. Option number one was this color called natural. So this is option number one. Then option number two was driftwood here. And I actually tested both of them on this piece of wood. Here's driftwood and then here is natural. Definitely gonna go for the natural color. I think it's just like a little bit of the natural color of wood, but intensified, which I love. So we're gonna go for this one all over all of our frame pieces and then assemble the frames. laid back down all of the frame pieces on top of the frame and they're all stained now as you can see there is a little bit of like imperfection in color however it's definitely like you can kind of see the gradation here and there's like a little bit of a darker section there but overall I don't think it's a problem at all but I wanted to point that out in case anyone did notice now what I'm going to do next is actually go in and use a nail gun and nail these all the way around the exterior of the canvas and then we are ready to hang them up I just finished framing the first canvas and it looks perfect I feel like this totally elevated the canvas before it was just like a basic artist canvas and now I feel like it looks like a framed piece of art and it's really oversized which I'm excited about and it's really heavy so I'm gonna set it down work on the next one and we're gonna bring them inside and hang them up both art pieces are framed and you guys how much better does the frame look on these I absolutely love them I think they're so cute I love the texture on both of these there is the tiniest gap right here I'm gonna go ahead and wood fill this tomorrow and I think it will be pretty seamless in the end but everything else turned out really nice I'm gonna go ahead and hang these tomorrow just to let the stain dry so it doesn't transfer to to the wall at all tonight and then tomorrow morning we're gonna hang them up and decorate the apartment. Good morning guys! It is our last day over at Marco's apartment, so I have a lot to work on because as you guys know, all we have is furniture in this space, but the decor is the part that I am very, very excited about. Now this morning I already went ahead and mounted the new sconces we got up above the mantle of the fireplace and they look incredible. And then as you guys can see here, we have our taped off sections for those DIY artworks that I created yesterday. I want to go ahead and bring them inside, hang them up, and I am just very, very excited to see them on the wall here. All right, you guys, the apartment is looking so good and we have no decor in here, but we have all the castle furniture pretty much in the center of the room here. I added the large tree that Marco had in the back there. We have a side table over here. We have the artwork hung on the wall right here and it is just looking so good from so many different angles. I don't know if you can see all this goodness that is happening here. So for decorating, I actually pulled a ton of stuff from my lone box room. As you guys know, I have a little studio space in my apartment and I store so much extra home decor I get sent a bunch of home decor so I actually went through and pulled so many pieces for this apartment so I have a bunch of the decor here and we're gonna start styling up the apartment I think I'm going to actually start with the mantle here as you can see there is a TV mount above the fireplace but Marco doesn't know if he wants a TV he's not sure if he's gonna install one and so I asked him if I was able to kind of cover that up and hide it and he said please do I don't know if you guys remember this mirror but it's a mirror that I actually had in my living room for a long time and it's been off of my living room wall for probably like six months and so I thought let's bring it over here and and reuse it because it's perfect for this theme and I thought it would go really nicely with the sconces as well and just kind of coordinate back so I'm gonna hang this up first probably honestly just over the top of the mount I had such a blast styling this space because I think styling for like more natural themed apartments is my personal favorite. I love using natural elements like wood, fresh florals. We also added some marble, um, different shades and tones of wood. And overall, this just whole vibe is perfection. Are you serious with this fireplace right now? It looks so 
pretty, you guys. I'm gonna work on the coffee table next. Well, coffee table and couch, I think. We're gonna do this little area. Like an oak, I was Living room is complete and I have never loved a living room so much. It looks so good. Not giving you guys any more peek. I want you to see it for the reveal. But I am going to go ahead and transfer my efforts into the dining room now. We have a dining room to also make over. Now, just to be completely transparent with you guys, we are doing very, very simple makeover to the dining room area. It's pretty white already, and it has really beautiful details with the crown molding. I had a new light fixture actually installed last night by our contractor friend, Pio. He came over just to help out, and he installed the light fixture up there. And we have the table and chairs from Castlery, which we're gonna put in there, do a little bit of styling, and that's gonna be the dining room. So let's go ahead and start working in there. First order of operation in here is to take off this lovely curtain hung over the bar. We're gonna raise it a little higher, widen it out, and add two panels. All right, new curtains are installed. Incredible this painting is. Marco literally painted this with oils. It is insane. He's so freaking talented and good. So we're gonna go ahead and actually frame this in this frame here. I ended up getting this at Target. It is an eight by 10 and this itself is a little under nine by 12. So I'm hoping that it's not gonna crop in too much of it, but I do think it's gonna look so nice with a mat. Look at that little sneak peek. It looks so good. But this is a wall in the dining room. I'm gonna mount the picture here. I think it's gonna be a great conversation starter for any dinner or if he has friends over or something. So let's mount that on the wall there and see how it looks. The dining room is all complete as well. I actually finished everything in this apartment way sooner than I thought I was going to today. I thought I would need a little bit more time and the reveal was actually planned for tomorrow morning, but Marco's just staying at Ethan's, which is right around the corner. So I'm going to call him and see if he wants to do the reveal today because that just means I can start editing sooner for you guys. All right, you guys, it is time to call Marco. I really hope that he is actually available right now. I've been texting him over the past couple of days, like during the process, saying that it's been looking so bad and that he's gonna really dislike it. So <laughs> I'm gonna call him and see if he could pop over because he's literally around the corner. Let's see. Hello. Oh, you answered quick. You must think something's wrong. You must think something's wrong at your household. No, um, well, actually, Marco, I just finished everything. I know you're around the corner. Do you have any time? Can I do the reveal like today? Are you all right with that? Oh my God, yeah. No, I actually have some time right now. <gasps> okay, well, um, get yourself prepared because I'm just gonna reveal the apartment to you, I guess, which I'm very excited about. It looks so bad, um, but I think it's very like your style, not very mine. <laughs> just kidding. Maybe come over in like 20 minutes. Okay, so okay, okay. Okay, I'll see you soon. You guys, I didn't know he was gonna be available right now. I thought I would have some time. Okay, I have 20 minutes, let's see. I have to make this place look pristine. Are you excited to see your apartment? I covered, so I covered it, you guys, by the way, with curtains so you can't see through the window. And Marco has not seen his apartment at all unless you snuck over at nighttime. I haven't. No, okay, I okay. Promise. He is ready. I'm about to reveal the apartment to him. This apartment actually turned out, I know I keep telling you that it turned out really yeah, not good, know. but it turned out so good. It turned out so good. Okay, okay, let's go. Bringing in Marco, you guys, his eyes are closed. Oh, can you feel that rug? Okay, I'm bringing 
you to this corner because I feel like you can see the most in this corner. Right. Okay, so you're in position here. I guess um, I'm gonna reveal to you your new apartment, which is so chic and fresh. I feel like it very fits the vibe that you're going for, and Castle, we really killed it with the furniture, honestly. So let's go ahead and reveal to your apartment in okay. three, <laughs> two, one. Oh, 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 oh my God. God. Stomping on it, <laughs> stomping on the way. The couch, dude. It just, oh. I feel like everything just looks so good together. Like everything it looks, looks so great. Artwork, um, got some large canvases, and then just included colors that were kind of in the room. Oh my god, this one. Oh, oh yeah, because you had the old scum. Yeah, yes. They were not. Like they were not. <laughs> So we fixed those, um, and I think that's, the mantle looks so pretty. It looks so cute now. So good. Um, here, you can just do this like little bench here under the window, which still allows you to close the curtains if you want to, but. Yeah. Gives you like extra seating if you did need it. Oh yeah, and I mean, and then this, I, this little thing here, which was really cool, because if you actually walk back over here, uh -huh. when you're like walking out of your room, I think it's so, it's just like such a vibe when you're walking and you can like see yourself in the mirror, but then there's like the artwork here, and then there's like the furniture here. Something about that is just so cool yeah. to me, and I like how it's in the direct line of like walking. Uh, and then we have the dining room, which I guess I'll show you as well. So come on in. Okay. This is the dining room. Oh, oh. And here's really cute, and that's your art. That's your art piece oh. that you wanted framed. Yes. It looks oh, so I love cute. It. I have a table. So, it's so good too because I feel like it's like compact, but it's yeah. still large. Like you can literally have like four people eating here or like four people working here. Oh my god. Which gosh. look yeah. with all the vibes with the light fixture. That looks so much better than like. Yes. Yeah. So cute. And then, yeah, the boob light. It was a boob light before, yeah. and then I added a little um ring up there as well, which I thought was kind of cool to mimic the crown molding on the oh. edges. Oh. Oh. Nice to make them look a little bit better. Yay! You're welcome. <laughs> I'm so excited and it's turned out so cute, you guys. I so love, good. love, love this apartment. I feel like it's a perfect mix of like. Yeah. I feel like everything I wanted. Yeah, it's I like a perfect. It. Everything turned out really, really great. And I'm so happy yeah. that you like it. For sure.